Okay. Okay, hold on. Okay. Yeah, this thing needs to be higher. Finger, Sam. I don't know how this is helping. She's calling on her own. It's not that device. No, no, no. It's for someone who. Someone, someone who cannot. Who yeah. Cannot. I know, but Sam it's an assist. Fine. Yeah, but she just as a, a bottle. Yeah, it's for her mobility. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> That's some good footage, though. It's good, though. Yeah. No, I, I get the. See the idea. It's, a, it's an assist, babe. It's an assist for. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Yeah. She might fall back. I know. I know. You don't know. She's not even there. Okay, you want to pick it up? Okay. Say, so, okay, you record this for me? Okay, let's move it over. Uh, I'm going to find out. I'm going to put it against it. Wait, wait. Did you want. Don't stop. Don't stop. Okay. And the burn the baby. Okay. I want to quickly demonstrate uh, my my design, I guess, what you call it. Uh, as you previously see, um, I made this just for... My niece. Is it, well, it's for my niece, but it's actually not for my niece. It's for uh, children that who are having problems with calling. And what this thing is, is a concept model for a baby calling. And um, so I made my equipment out of a... PVC pipe and I paint it red. Each joint I use a ceramic uh, glue on it. On the bottom I put four wheels on it. A I guess what you call these are casters. And these could be easily removed. I didn't glue these on. Yeah, I also I created can you, can you get the I'm sorry, can you get the full picture? So um I made it sort of differently from the from uh, from the website. Um, a lot of a lot of baby quarter they come with a handle for uh, for mom to kind of like push the baby around. Uh, this one also has it. I create the handle on on the side right here. So even uh, if you want to braid the baby a little bit, uh, parents could actually help uh, move the move the baby quarter. And also, um, let's see what else I want to mention. Also, the reason why I I did it this way so that I was thinking that when baby get a little bit older and they want to practice on walking, they could also remove one of these, uh, the ball, the wheels, and they could use the handle to help them walk. And with the one of the wheels is missing, um, it, it will create some friction. So it's basically like a walker. And also for this part, you could actually put a tray on here. So that's also, you know, I learned that from at the clinic with a lot of walker come with a tray handle and as you probably could see um this is my first version um i noticed the mistake is that this is probably too long i instead of using jumping cord i actually uh, cut off from one of the pants because it's kind of elastic so it, it you the baby actually could pull on it as you could see um so that it doesn't give a lot of resistance but if you actually buy it from online, they come with a four point or five point uh, belt. Uh, I don't know what you call it, belt or something like that. Clip, clip on. Uh, another thing that um, what this is good for is also you could work as a fine motor um, training. So when the baby is on the, uh, I don't know what you call it, this uh, the basket or uh, the holder thing, um, you could put like a. You could put toy in front of it, so for baby to reach for it. Um, that's also for reaching, and then at the same time for um, kids that who are a little bit older, and if you want to work on fine motor, finger uh, dexterity, you could also work with the uh, upper extremity for them um, to, I don't know, put like a box in front, and then have them take out like a different box cue to a different boxes and will you could work with the um, handwriting or something like that it, anything um, there's a lot I guess uh, optional stuff for it um, like I mentioned this thing is kind of low I just finished this maybe a few minutes ago so this is probably something that I need to readjust and then also I plan to maybe drill a hole right here so that I could hide all these um, 
the tie part. But as you could see earlier, uh, my niece was on it, and then she was, well, she already able to call, but um, some of these uh, applications that could be applied to is probably like a Craig, Craig on our case study or Angela. Uh, I know that parents mentioned that they want the baby to um, start walking, but before walking, they need to know how to crawl first. And I know Craig has a quadruple, quadruple or something problem with the push-up position, so that's also something that they could work on. Um, overall, yeah, that's that's my um, equipment need. Um, project and then I hope you guys like it and you, buy, you guys probably could see it in person anyway. Alright, um, yeah, I don't know, there's the baby right there if you guys... Hey, well, so where is the but... baby? Ooh, Samantha! Oh yeah, another thing, uh, she's 11 month old, so kind of fit into our case study. 11 month, yeah, normal baby. <laughs> that's the dog, that's the buster. Yeah, that's it. I don't